Hi, we are the Ohio guys here in Houston, Texas, in John Gremlin's house. I'm Christian Campo, and today I'm being joined by John Gremlin. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing? Welcome to my abode. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Thank you for the invitation. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. Yeah. What's up? Just have a few questions to ask you. Okay. So we're wondering, why is it like working in the industry today? The industry has changed a lot. Uh, I first got into doing uh, anime voiceover in the late 1990s, right before it really blew up. ADV Films was um, here in town, and a lot of local actors were doing voiceover, and they had open auditions back then. They had every... Uh, Every couple of months, they had open auditions, and any actors, anybody could come and just audition for them. So it was very different back then. But then all through the aught years and, you know, 2000 from 1999 to, you know, even the present, it just, it just exploded. So it was really fun. We, we would go into ADV about three or four times a month and record just a ton of titles. It was really fun. Nice. So... Do you have any favorite anime that you have worked on? Yeah. My favorite anime, probably the most fun to work on, I've got to say, was Cromartie High School. And then we recorded that with Stephen Foster at ADV, who was hilarious. And he was a great director, and we had a lot of fun. We had to, I remember, we were laughing so much while we were recording it that I, I played this big, bulky guy who had a deep voice like that. And he got car, his character would get car sick, so the high school kids would try to go fight their enemies, and he would have to sit in the back, and he would get car sick. So it was just really funny characters, really wacky situations. And I recorded it with uh, a lot of other actors I, I knew. And we were laughing so much at this one thing that we had to do that we had to stop recording because I couldn't get through it. Because Steven had to stand up, he was laughing, he was walking all over the studio. I couldn't get through the line. We did like 18 takes. And he had to have me come back and record the rest of it. And um, so that was really hilarious. And I remember one time I had to, I tried to make myself not laugh. And so I, th I thought of like, I thought, what can I think of that's gonna keep me serious? And I thought, okay, dead puppies, ugly nuns, just think of anything. And I said, okay, dead puppies and ugly nuns. And Stephen Foster went, what? What did you just say? And he cracked up laughing. And he said, say that, say that as the character. And I went, really? He said, yeah, you don't wanna get car sick, so think of that. I went, okay, and you can hear it on the DVD. I'm not kidding. You can hear my character say really quickly because they sped it up on the audio. He's going, I'm getting sick. What do I do? Mm, dead puppies and ugly nuns. And it just goes by like that. <laughs> so that was the real, that, he added it to the script. So <laughs> stuff like that was really fun. I love when that happens. Yeah. That show was funny. Yeah. That was great. So another, uh, Fun show you worked on? What was it like working on Eden of the East? Eden of the East, we recorded with Mike McFarlane at um, Funimation in Flower Mound, Texas. And I've done some work with Funimation, I mean, uh, for a long time. I knew Mike McFarlane. I met him at a convention, actually, here in Houston at the Hyatt. And uh, he's, I was asking him, you know, can I send you a demo reel? Can we, can we work together sometime? Because I wanted to get um, start working over there. And so I sent him a reel, and then he got me working on a show called Galaxy Railways, which was, uh, that was years ago. And then he uh, got me on Eden of the East um, two or three years ago, three or four years ago. And um, that was really fun. I got to play a really interesting kind of laid-back, cool villain, you know, who yeah. was uh, trying to take over, uh, overthrow his boss using cell phones. And uh, that, they made two movies out of it, I think. This is, yeah. Here you go, folks. <laughs> Da, da, da. Check and it out. Merch, and um, yeah, that was a great. That was a great. Uh, we we worked on that for a couple of weeks, I think. It was a long time. Yeah. I had to go back and forth to to Fort Worth. <laughs> Must have been a long drive. Yeah, yeah. The Fort Worth is. I want them to build the bullet train so that we can get there really quickly in like an hour and a half. That'd be fun. We'll work more up there. Hope that happens. Mm -hmm, I hope so too. <laughs> Another recent show you worked on. Or was it like working on Vampire Hunter D? Vampire Hunter D was great. We worked on that at Sentai, and that is showing tonight at the Alamo. Well, this video will be dated by then, but Alamo Draft House is showing it. So if you see this video today, go tonight. Get out there. I've shown a few episodes. And you won't be there, unfortunately. No, I can't be there. I'm sorry. <laughs> they wanted me to, but. And we just did uh, a comic got kill as well, which is on Toonami on uh, Adult Swim on Saturday nights. And. Uh, I play a villain in that. I think I have a couple of episodes. I think there's one big battle scene in episode seven where, uh, well, I won't tell you what happens, but, yeah, big, big character, big uh, villain with a, mu with a big mustache 
we recorded that with Kyle Jones, and that was a lot of fun. I like working with Sentai Media. They're they're the new new game in town. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. So so going back to the old ADV days, mm -hmm. I was like working on Utuwar. Utuwari Ramona. Yeah, no, but don't worry, nobody can pronounce that. Uh, like, see, we had a different different names for it. Um, but yeah, that was fun. That was my only lead role uh, uh, that I've ever played. I usually get cast in a lot of different smaller roles because um, they they directors like to use me for the most part as the you know the cop or the dad or the crazy characters or the really wacky way out people, and they'd like to use my range more than just my my voice. My voice is deeper, it has kind of a deeper bass you know timber, and so it's good for you know, those heavy roles or, you know, the older roles, or they, they, they say, you know, give me something a lot higher pitch and use your range a lot. It's not the kind of voice that you would typically, I think, cast in lead roles in anime because they're usually a lot younger kids, you know, so people like Chris Patton and Lucy Christian and Monica Rial and Hilary Haig and even David Wald right now and Allison Summerall and these other guys who... They have, they have the ability to make their regular voice, speaking voice, sound just younger somehow. I don't know if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. But it works really well for those lead roles. And so I'm usually cast as like four or five secondary roles in a lot of anime. So Uderari Ramono was my voice, just like this. Don Rush was the director. He liked it. And he said, let's use your regular voice in this role. And it worked out. He was a very mellow, kind of zen character. Until the end of the episode, end of the series, where you found out that he was—that's you know, a really strange story. How he was, you know, part of a scientific experiment, and he became who he was and had to wear a mask because his face got kind of destroyed, and it was it was kind of interesting. But yeah, that was the one role I played that was a lead. Okay. So what was it like working on Shinobi? Shinobi is one of my favorites. Shinobi is actually not an anime; it's a live action. It was in four parts, four DVDs, and Kyle Jones directed this at ADV. And what was the most fun about this, was it Kyle? Yeah, I think it was Kyle back here. But he, we, um, we got to record the entire live action um, episodes on four DVDs, and then we went back for, for the entire thing again and recorded a parody track. <laughs> so we recorded all of our lines and made up a bunch of lines and just had total fun and, and destroyed the script and just did it for complete uh, just total fun with Kyle made it up as we went along <clears throat> did he wanted to do one in, in, in accents and he had one DVD was entirely my character as a Scottish in a Scottish accent <laughs> so if you get Shinobi you get two movies for the price of one because you get the actual serious script and then you get you can turn on the parody track for the entire all four DVD series and hear the whole thing that way yeah. Nice. It's a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> All right, so if you could be any character you have played who in real life, if who you be, be any character. And you can mix and match if you want. Mix and match, wow. We're going to be here forever. Um, <laughs> I would probably be my character from Basilisk that we recorded in uh, Fort Worth at Funimation. I was a blind um, kind of sensei type, and he could. he was blind, but he had powers he could tell when enemies were approaching. That was pretty cool, because nobody ever messed with him. I'd like to be him. Okay. That'd be awesome. Right on. All right. So uh, is there anything coming out that you can talk about, or anything you want to plug in at this time? Well, a comic, aside from A Comic Got Kill, which is on Toonami, um, which is really popular, we're, we just recorded, uh, we're recording Parasite right now with Kyle Jones, and... Um, Let's see, and Vampire Hunter D. Those are those are the most those are the more recent titles. Those are the ones that uh, we're doing at the moment. Okay. Yep. So last question. Okay. This is the one we always ask for the, all the voice actors. All right. Any Facebook, Twitter, or any social media for the fans to follow you? I have never tweeted. I got to admit, I've not. I don't have a Twitter account. I've got a Facebook account. It's not a fan page. It's just my just my regular name. Uh, but that's it. That's the only social media I'm on really is Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Should we check you out then? Yeah. Go for right. it. Well, thank you everyone for joining us for another episode of the Ohio Guys. I'm Christian. I'm John Gremion. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>